Hello there ladies and gentlemen and welcome to the show and today I'll be looking at Synology's DSM 5.2 software. I'll be giving you a quick walkthrough so let's just crack on and get on with it. Tally ho, tally ho ladies and gentlemen. Okay I've had the Synology DS716 Plus for several weeks now and I really love it. Love how fast it is, how easy it is to use and compared to what I had before which was just a WD external hard drive, it's of a magnitude better. And one of the great things about it is using DSM software. So we'll have a quick walkthrough. So the easiest way to get into DSM software, which is a web interface, is basically use Synology Assistant, which is this here. Or you can just type in find.synology.com. So I'll use the Assistant to log in. So you just click on that and then go connect. And I've already got it open, so let's have a look. So there you have it, here is DSM, it's version 5.2. This will be pretty much how your screen is when you log in. Now the first thing you'll be greeted by is DSM help. This is a great resource. If you wanna know anything about DSM or anything about the Synology NAS you have, how to use it, this is your go-to place. So for example, I wanna know how to share files. I'll just type share. And we'll go to click on that tutorial. Okay, access your Synology NAS over the internet and share files. Boom, there you have it. So simple. So it's a great resource. Make sure you use it if you're not sure how to do something. And it's so simple. Look at this, it gives you pictures on how to exactly do it. In this case, share files so simple so on the bottom right hand side you'll have your widgets and these can be placed anywhere you want you just click on this and you can replace them top right bottom right top left left top and left bottom now currently i have the resource monitor open which is self-explanatory and same with system monitor if you want to add another widget you just click on the plus symbol there and you can add another widget. If you want to hide the widgets, you go to the top right hand corner and boom, just hide it if you want. Also on the top right hand corner, you have the search field here. On the right hand side, you have the pilot view button. To the left of the search button, you have, you have the user option button. So this is where you can reboot the system sign out so on and so forth and then you have the system notifications next to that and this will show you all your notifications from downloading apps to any system alerts or anything like that so always keep an eye on that and then you have the downloads icon here which shows you what you're downloading at any given time so to the top left hand corner we have what i would call the app drawer so the top left hand corner you have these four little boxes here and it's very similar to Android's app drawer. So you just click on it and it will show you all your apps. And these are all the apps I have installed here. Just click on it again and it will close it. So it's simple as that. On the top, you'll also have what you have open at the moment. So I have File Station open. So this is like a multitasking bar and I have a picture open. Now below that, you'll have Package Center. Package Center is where you download all your apps. Now I would recommend going to the recommended section of the Package Center and downloading all Synology's apps. All these apps here help you manage your files locally or remotely. So I definitely recommend downloading the Synology apps and also you can get all these apps on mobile as well. So you can actually access your files from your phone. And I'll show you some of the mobile apps later. And if I click on all, you'll see all the apps you can install and there's loads. There's apps for beginners and then there's apps for the more advanced users and you'll never be wanting for apps. So this is why Synology are good. So simple and yet you can do all the advanced features of what you would expect of a NAS. Underneath the package center, we have the control panel. And the control panel is basically like the control panel on your computer. You can set up users here. You can 
share folders, set up your network settings, your, your quick connect settings. And also here you'll see the update and restore. So this is where you update and restore. And I'll just click on that and we'll see it's going to check that my DSM software is up to date and it says DSM version is up to date. Awesome. So I don't have to worry about that. So it's basically like your computer control panel. It's where you find all the settings. Let's go to file station. Okay, so file station is where you manage your files and folders, of course. One of the awesome things about DSM and one of my favorite features is the actual sharing feature. So I can share files with someone remotely, like I can share files with my mum. If there's some photos I wanted to see, I can just send her a link and she can download them. And it's so simple. So for example, let's have a look here. Let's go to photos. All right, so this photo capture, if I want to share that, I right click on it and I go to share file with links and then boom, you can share your files remotely. And that's one of my favorite features, so that's cool. If you want to change the wallpaper, it's as simple as clicking on a file. Okay, we'll set this as wallpaper. Simple as clicking on that button, and that's my wallpaper now. Below File Station, you have DSM Help, which is that help page I was talking about before, which pops up when you log in. Then you have the Storage Manager. I have a video on how to set up your storage, so if you want to see that, look for the links in the description. Let's go through some of the apps I've downloaded. So let's click on the app drawer. Let's have a look at some of the ones you would use if you were just starting out. So video station, you click on video station. This is where you manage all your video content. So you can make collections. You can play all your videos, so on and so forth. So basically it's your management of your videos and it's a cool, easy to use piece of software. Let's go to another one. What else we got? Photo station. Photo station's awesome. It's the same sort of thing. It manages your photos. It's well designed. It's easy to use. You can upload files, create albums, share links. It looks good, works well. So no complaints with that. What else we got? Audio station. Again, it's where you can listen to internet radio, manage all your music, make playlists, so on and so forth. It's basically like iTunes for your NAS. And we have media server. Let's see, media server. Now, media server is where you share all your video or audio content with a DLNA or UPMP digital media adapters such as stereo systems, TVs, gaming consoles and so on. So if you want to broadcast your music on your compatible stereo, you can do that straight from here. So another app is CloudStation which lets you sync all your files with all your different Synology products, with your mobile phones and so on. So I recommend you set up your Quick Connect ID with Synology, then you'll be able to share stuff and also sync stuff using CloudStation. So here we have Synology's mobile suite of apps for your mobile phone. We'll look at DS File Manager, the one flashing there. And it's so easy, you just log in and I'm in my NAS now. Just have a look at my files, there they are. Just scroll up and down, you can see all your files, you go through all the folders. And if you want to download one, it's very easy. So I'll just open that file, download it. Simple as that. And there you go, one task processed and I've downloaded it. You can also just upload files to your DNS. And it's so simple. Select the file I want to upload from my phone to my NAS. Go into my camera folder. I want to upload this file. Which one? We'll have a look. Okay, that one. Upload it. 
boom simple as that it's uploaded to my nas so they have the mobile suite of apps make sure you use them they're very useful so simple to use so basically that's it that's a quick walkthrough of Synology's DSM software this is version 5.2 I will be looking at Synology's DSM 6 which is due for release soon but I'll be looking at the beta version so make sure you subscribe if you want to see that give me a thumbs up if you thought this video was helpful and until next time tally ho tally ho tally ho ladies and gentlemen